أردتم أن تكونوا شامة بين الورى فاختفوا آثار جيل للمعالي سطرا إن أردتم أن تكونوا شامة بين الورى فاختفوا آثار جيل للمعالي سطرا جيل زيد وأوسيد الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله We all want to boost our Iman in this online world, isn't it? Step four, let's have a look at it now. What is step four out of the seven, seven steps? To have Allah as your friend. Be Allah's friend and have Allah as your friend. When Allah is there on your side helping, who better than Allah to be looking after you? Is there anyone you need to be afraid of when Allah is there on your side as a friend? How do we do that? Of course, online we know. You find sometimes people in a website, they're trying to sell products to you. To sell products, maybe they're tempting you. They're tempting you to buy things you don't need. Maybe you've already got a nice phone. They want you to buy another phone. They want you to spend more money. They want you to go on and on and waste your money. They're doing all of that for their own sake. Even when they advertise, they might be using haram ways to tempt you and they're tempting you to do haram. They're doing all of this for their own good. Other people come, they say, follow this way of thinking, that's the way to go. Follow another way of thinking, that's the way to go. This religion, that religion, this bid'ah, that bid'ah. You got so many people throwing so many things at you. Wouldn't it be nice to have Allah as your friend and be the friend of Allah, at least to some extent, even if not like Ibrahim alayhi salam, to some extent like a wali amongst the awliya of Allah. Who is a wali? A pious Muslim. So why not try to have Allah's friendship because Allah is the best to help us online. Sure, we all agree, we want to be Allah's friends. We want to have Allah as our friend. So, but then how do we go about getting this? How do we go about becoming the friend of Allah and making Allah our friend? Let's turn to two hadith from the Prophet ﷺ. These are two hadith Qudsi. In the first of the two hadith, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shows to us that if you want to become a friend of Allah, First, you've got to want to do it. You've got to start wanting to do something. So the first hadith shows to us, if you try, if you try to come closer to Allah by hand, span, by hand span, by doing good deeds, to try to become the friend of Allah, the wali of Allah, the pious slave of Allah, if you come, try to come closer to Allah by hand span, Allah will come closer to you by the whole length of your forearm. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Hadith Qudsi, وَإِن تَقَرَّبَ مِنِّي شِبْرًا And if he comes close to me by a hand span, تَقَرَّبْتُ إِلَيْهِ ذِرَاعًا I'll come close to him by a whole forearm length. This is the slave of Allah. If he comes closer by doing good deeds. Then Allah says in the Hadith Qudsi, وَإِن تَقَرَّبَ إِلَيَّ ذِرَاعًا And if he comes close to me by the length of a forearm, تَقَرَّبْتُ مِنْهُ بَاعًا I come closer to him the length of the whole arm. If he comes to me walking, I'll come to him racing. Meaning if you come to Allah doing good deeds to try to please Allah and could draw closer to Allah by your good deeds, Allah will make it even easier for you that much more. You go that much forward, Allah will help you the whole forearm length coming closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the first step in having the friendship of Allah is to start moving towards Allah by doing good actions, by doing good actions. Meaning, moving towards the love of Allah, the protection of Allah, the wilaya from Allah, by doing good actions. Then, what do we do? The second hadith we see, hadith Qudsi, it spells out for us how to be the wali of Allah. The Prophet, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, begins the hadith by saying, مَنْ عَادَالِي وَلِيًّا فَقَدْ آذَنْتُهُ بِالْحَرْبِ Who Allah says, whoever shows enmity towards my wali, I declare war upon him. So who is this wali for whom Allah declares war upon that person? The wali is the friend of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ala inna awliya Allah la khawfun alayhim wa lahum yahzanun alladhina aminu wa kanu yattaqun. This verse shows Allah says, isn't it the friends of Allah? They have nothing to be afraid of and nothing to be sorrowful of. Who are they? Allah says, the ones who believe and used to keep doing taqwa. So the friends of Allah are the ones who have taqwa. How do you get the friendship of Allah? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continues in this hadith Qudsi by mentioning وَمَا تَقَرَّبَ إِلَيَّ عَبْدِي بِشَيْءٍ أَحَبَّ إِلَيَّ مِمَّ افْتَرَدْتُهُ إِلَيْهِ 
عليه. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, My slave does not come close to me with anything more beloved to me than the things that I have made compulsory on him. So the first sure way to come closer to Allah is to make sure all the wajib compulsory things of the religion, you do them as best as you can. All the haram, leave them as best as you can. Pray five times a day. Fast in the month of Ramadan. It might be hard, you're a new Muslim maybe, or you just started practicing. Get together with others, fast together. Make it easier for you to fast the month of Ramadan. So then, first thing, all the compulsory things that are for you, make sure you do it. Give zakah to the poor people from your money that you have. Give some charity that is compulsory. Make sure you do that. First step, easy step, sure step. Do whatever Allah has made compulsory on you. That is what helps you to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then, how do you get to a stage where Allah loves you? Allah continues in the Hadith Qudsi by saying, وَلَا يَزَالُ عَبْدِي يَتَقَرَّبُ إِلَيَّ بِالنَّوَافِلْ حَتَّى أُحِبَّهُ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, My slave continues to draw closer to me by doing nawafil, extra good deeds, حَتَّى أُحِبَّهُ Until I love him. So the more good deeds you do after the compulsory deed, more good deeds you do, more good deeds you do, Allah, you will come, keep coming closer to Allah until Allah will love you. What are some of the good deeds you can do? You've prayed your five times compulsory prayers. Do your sunnah prayers. Do extra prayers. Get up at night and pray tahajjud. If that's hard, maybe pray the duha prayer during the day. Maybe pray the two rakah prayer between the adhan and the iqama. Extra good deeds. You pay your zakah, compulsory charity from your money, 2.5% every year on your savings. That's compulsory. Nawafil, give more money in charity. Give more money to spread the knowledge of Allah's religion. This is how we come, keep coming closer and closer to Allah. We do extra work by online. You go by doing extra deeds, by learning more about the religion, spreading the knowledge of the religion. These are the doors of doing extra deeds. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, my slave continues to draw closer to me by extra deeds until I love him. Allahu Akbar until Allah loves you. What is better than when Allah loves, what can be better than Allah loving you? And then when you love, when Allah loves you, what happens? You become the wali of Allah. You become the friend of Allah, whom Allah protects you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَإِذَا أَحْبَبْتُهُ كُنْتُ سَمْعَهُ الَّذِي يَسْمَعُ بِهِ And Allah continues in the hadith by saying, and when I love him, I will be his hearing with which he hears, his eyesight with which he sees, his hands with which he strikes, his legs with which he walks. So then, Allah will help you, as the scholars explain, to see only that which pleases Allah, to see, hear only that which pleases Allah, to use your hands to do only that which pleases Allah, to walk towards things except only that which pleases Allah. Why? Because of that friendship, because of that wilaya. How do you do it? By doing extra deeds. What happens when you get to that stage? I can't think of anything better than this. The Prophet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continues in the hadith saying, when he loves you and he does all of this, Allah says, وَلَا إِن سَأَلَنِي لَأُعْتِيَنَّهُ If he asks me for anything, I will surely give it to him. وَلَا إِن اسْتَعَاذَنِي لَأُعِيذَنَّهُ And if he seeks refuge from me, I will give him refuge. Can you imagine a friend greater than this? No one at all. Allah is the greatest, the greatest friend to have. When he... When he loves you, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, you ask him for anything, including having iman in the jungle of the online world. When you come to that stage and Allah loves you by doing extra and extra good deeds, you just keep doing them. And when you get to that stage, Allah will help you in this star fashion, such that whatever you ask Allah, he will give it to you. Whatever you seek protection from Allah, he will give you protection from that. Whatever haram you see online, Ask Allah's protection, He will protect you. Not only that, He will be your eyes so that you don't see haram, your ears so you don't hear haram, your hands so you don't click the mouse to go to haram. So this, we do that by doing extra good deeds. Maybe we come to an extent where Allah helps us this much, then more and more. So why not give it a go to have the friendship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by doing extra good deeds. When you do that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will look after you in every way. What are some of the ways we can do to do good deeds online? 
One thing, of course, is when you're standing on that mouse, your finger on that mouse, instead of clicking it for haram, click it for some of the halal things you can do. Google the halal things you can do. Some of the halal things you can do, go to the websites of the scholars. Scholars that you know are teaching you Islam. Not websites written by non-Muslims pretending to be from Muslims, no. But websites of the scholars of Islam. Go to their websites, learn, listen to some lectures that are motivational, listen to other lectures that are instructional and knowledge based. Combine between the two of them. Maybe give yourself about two hours a day. One hour, I listen to a lecture that is motivational. One hour, I listen to something that is teaching me something. If not, you can do this every day. Maybe do it at least twice a week, once a week. This is a way to start. Another way is not only do you learn from the scholars, but you can also try to help the work of the scholars. Of course, when we talk about the scholars, as I said, make sure you search for the scholars who are teaching you from the Quran and the Sunnah, the authentic hadith and so on. Then when you found it, you're learning it yourself, how else can you get good deeds? What I reckon, don't go ahead starting your own website. Because as you know, there are millions and millions of websites. Don't start your own if you're not a scholar yourself. Why not go and help spread the work of a scholar? And if you find that there's a scholar who's got his own website and you might know something that's technically good, then help and give the technical help to that scholar. Help send that technical help to the scholar. Another thing you can do, instead of being a hero and setting up your own thing, when you're not a scholar yourself, why not get the link of something good for, of a scholar and pass that link to everybody through Facebook, invite them. Pass that link to everybody through your emails. Send the mass emails to everybody. Invite them to something good they can benefit. Don't waste your time online on the Facebook all the time. But whatever little time you do spend, spend it to spread the good to the people. These are some of the ways we can help. Another thing you can help yourself, the good deeds to do are so many. The good deeds to do are so many. You might get bored, so why not? Pick a few of good deeds of this type, few good deeds of this type, few good deeds of this type. Do a combination of good deeds. Give a little bit in charity every week. Do maybe some extra prayers every day. Maybe the duha prayer, two rakat duha time. Maybe call your relatives to strengthen your relationships once every month or something to even your distant relatives. Choose a variety of good deeds. Online using Skype, so easy to do Silatul Raham, to join their blood relations, which is one of the best action. Use the Skype, use the messenger, use these means online and elsewhere to do the good deeds. By doing these, you can increase your nawafil until Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves you. But remember, Although you choose a variety of good deeds, make sure you are consistent and constant. Don't get hyper, hyper into doing something now and then you just forget it and do sins after that. No. Try to choose few good deeds, but be firm in them the way the Prophet ﷺ used to be. This helps us to do extra good deeds until we get to a stage when Allah loves you and loves us. And when Allah loves us and He regards us as His wali, and he will declare a battle against anyone who tries to harm you, what more can you want when you have this step four out of the, out of the seven steps, which is to have Allah as your friend and be a friend of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as, as you go to find iman and boost your iman in the online world. Stay tuned for step number five in doing so as well. وَمُعَادٍ وَالْبَرَاءِ إن أردتم أن تكونوا شامة بين الورى فاقتفوا آثار جيل للمعالي سطرا إن أردتم أن تكونوا شامة بين الورى فاقتفوا آثار جيل للمعالي سطرا جيل زيد وحسين ومعاذ والبراء 
هم نجوم في الديادي وعلى الباغي رجوم هم بذور قد تجلت لا تواريها الغيوم هم نجوم في الديادي وعلى الباغي رجوم هم بذور قد تجلت لا تواريها الغيوم كلهم جد وعزم كلهم غيث عبيد أردتم أن تكونوا شامة بين الورى فاقتفوا آثار جيل للمعالي صفرا إن أردتم أن تكونوا شامة بين الورى فاقتفوا آثار جيل للمعالي صفرا جيل زيد وأسيد ومعاذ والبراء طلقوا الدنيا وعاشوا في نواحيها مشاعل ملأوا الأرض سلاما وعلوما وفضائل الدنيا وعاشوا في نواحيها مشاعل ملأوا الأرض سلاما وعلوما وفضائل وهدوا كل ضليل عن هدى الإسلام ما فاقتفوا آثار جيل للمعالي صفرا إن أردتم أن تكونوا شامة بين الورى فاقتفوا آثار جيل للمعالي صفرا جيل زيد وأسيد ومعاذ والبراء فمتى يا قوم نبنيه فمتى فمتى ما بأيدينا هدمنا فمتى 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 يا قوم نبنيه فمتى فمتى ما بأيدينا هدمنا فمتى فمتى ليس يجد